I've avoided telling any one of my fans my feelings towards this film that I'm about to review up until this point. And now I feel is the time to express my thoughts on this film, starting now. Tremors 5 Bloodlines Hot damn! 2015 is the year for long-awaited sequels. Freaking Jurassic World, the upcoming Star Wars movie, and now a sequel to Tremors. Splendid. Oh, and New Decade, New Creatures. Nuff said. The plot! Bert Gummer has to go to Africa to kill some ass blasters. But twists and turns ensue, and a horror story forms. All the while, his sidekick, played by Jamie Kennedy, is slowly revealing himself to who he really is. Tremors 5? It's a blast. The CG monsters are awesome! The setting is a step in the right direction. Africa is way out of Bert's comfort zone. In Tremors 2, he went to Mexico, and in the TV series, he went to a Pioneer Festival. Both places, he seemed very uncomfortable, because he wasn't used to the terrain. However, when he goes through African customs, they take away his guns for inspection for three days, and he finds out that his employer wants at least one of the monsters alive. You would think he would go full paranoid mode, but no. At first, he's very organized and assertive, until he is trapped in a cage and peed on by a lion. Speaking of urinal sequences, there's a lot of scenes, at least four or five, where animals or humans are pissing. Some pee-related scenes with birds definitely earned the gross at the end of his real name. Speaking of gore, the gore is pretty nasty when it comes to the monsters. There's some human blood, but not as much as I would have liked. Now, I've been a long, long time Tremors fan. My dad, brother, and I watch the first four on a regular basis. This new entry will take a while to grow on me, and probably my dad and brother, but I'll look at it from the film itself standpoint of view. The effects are really good, especially for a direct-to-video movie. Acting, solid. Bert steals the show and Jamie Kennedy isn't as annoying as I thought he would be. Music is sort of forgettable, but it's okay. The plot is a generic monster movie, but I still appreciate the setting and monsters. And to be fair, all the Tremors movies are basic monster movies. The cinematography is nice and the atmosphere is well executed by way of setting. Like Tremors 3, this is made to be a fun, cheesy monster romp. And surprisingly, Tremors 3 and 5 were written by the same guy. Overall, I give Tremors 5 bloodlines a 4 out of 5. How many sequels will have the subtitle Bloodline? Hellraiser Bloodline? Ron Turn 5 Bloodlines? Frickin' Tremors 5 Bloodlines? And because it is a new decade, I wish they made this Tremors movie rated R. Don't take the safe path like the new Goosebumps movie is. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and to leave comments and subscribe.